everybody. And happy Tuesday today. Wow. Already Tuesday. <laughs> it's funny. I was just talking to Wyatt because they're doing their um, final testing for the year to make sure that they learn what they're supposed to learn for the year. And um, they're doing it this week. So I was telling Wyatt, I was like, man, you're going to do your testing this week. And then like the next like two and a half weeks of school, you're not going to really have a lot going on. I know. And we were just talking to Melanie and Gary about that. The kids only have like three weeks left of school. It's crazy how fast this year has gone by. Very, very fast. Not that I'm sure the kids, they probably don't think it went by fast, but <laughs> to me, it went by pretty fast. Actually, I wanted to come over here and take a look at my uh, pear tree. It's growing. It's definitely a lot bigger and more fuller than it has been. Um, I do need to get another uh, pear tree because I only have the one and I won't get any fruit off of it with just the one. Uh, last year it had one flower on it, but I haven't seen, I haven't seen a flower on it this year. Um, yeah, no flowers on it this year, but I will say guys, this is a healthy looking tree right here. Um, David got me that tree for my birthday. I think it was our first year here. He got me that, or second year here. Do you remember what year? How many years ago that tree? I think this is its third year. Yeah, I think so. We need to get another one. Yeah, I was just saying that. I need to get another one. But, uh... But this one's doing good. Yeah, this one's doing really good. It's very happy right here. It's a good spot for it, too. Uh, but we'll get another one. Um, you know what's weird, though, is we've gone to, like, um like Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff, and even Walmart, and looked at their trees. I have yet to see a pear tree. Well, I think he bought this at that um, nursery. Oh, maybe. In Fort Smith, I yeah. that's where he got this. Yeah. Don't quote me on that, though. But that's where we're going to have to go to get yeah, I have, pear trees. Yeah, I haven't seen one um, at the yeah, store. Because no. if I would have seen one, I would probably would have been like, hey, we're, let's just grab one and plant it over here, just so this one's not all by itself. But With spit bugs around. Oh, spit bugs. Ew. Well, they're all over the place. Here. Yeah. Look. Spit bugs? Yeah, spit bugs. These were all over the place in uh, Oregon. These spit bugs. Um, spit. No, but that's what we used to call them because, I mean, it looks like spit. It's not spit, though. There's like these little tiny green bugs inside of them. It's weird. Like you said, I'm sure they have some fancy name, like... Some weird beetle or like something. Like spit bug. I'm just kidding. Huh. <laughs> Some fancy name. You know what else is out is all the chiggers. Yes. Um, the chiggers are out now. Yay. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm I, so uh, happy they're out. <laughs> just the other day, I actually saw one crawling on my phone and stuff. So they are out. <laughs> and the mosquitoes are out. Um, yesterday, we were outside working. And man, I like they were little gnats, and then like mosquitoes were out, and my arms are all chewed up and stuff. Gotta get that bug spray out, I guess. Now, haven't had to use that th uh, in like a few months. <laughs> you know, it is time. It, it is, is time. yeah. It is that time of year. Um, same with sunblock too. I actually bought some sunblock uh, too because I'm out, and it's that time of year. Today is supposed to be very very warm today well, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> the weather around here i swear you go from raining forever and it's cold to instantly 80 it was like 80 something yesterday and melanie said it's supposed to be 90 yeah it is today. i yeah i checked today this which is... is so crazy how it can flop so quickly yeah <laughs> you know because just last week like a high of I'm making something up at like 65 or something. Yeah, with rain. With rain and then boom, 90. Yeah, it's like a beautiful we don't, crisp spring morning. Yeah, and we don't have any sunblock. My poor neck. I know, Anthony got pretty fried got yesterday. Fried yesterday. Would put it on. How red is it? Pretty red? It's not as bad as yesterday. No. It was a lot worse. I just don't have any sunblock or else I'll be wearing it. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, I got it. You got it ordered. It's on yeah, the way. Yeah, it's coming today. <laughs> Today. We, need, we need to order me a, a beard trimmer because look, I'm starting to look like a hobo again. Yeah. Time for a haircut. I know I noticed Wyatt too needs a haircut yeah. this morning. I was looking at him, I was like, ooh. Usually when I get we give Wyatt a haircut, because we just buzz his head. Yeah. 
is when um, I shave my beard and stuff. Yeah. I, start, I start looking like a homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey, I mean, it happens. Uh, you grow, right? Your hair grows. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I wish my hair grew that fast. My hair really doesn't grow that fast. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's funny because we were over here not too long ago, but like a tree broke and fell. If you see that tree right there, that one broke, fell on the ground. Yeah. Oh, that other one behind there broke too. There's two trees right there that broke. Well, this one broke. Look. That's what I'm saying. There's two trees. Well, this one's that. Yeah, because look at there's one right here too that broke. Yeah. Yeah crazy yeah that when uh forget what day that was last week i think it was like two days man that wind was gro blowing like something fierce like these trees like all of them were all leaned back i mean it was pretty freaky there for a little while um but i'm sure you know i'd rather have the wind than the tornadoes <laughs> that come along with the wind <laughs> Oh, he's, he's moving the tree right now. But man, it just, it is so green around here. I was just literally thinking the other day, like, it's amazing how it went from, like, where everything just looked dead, and I almost forgot what it looked like all so green, and then now everything's, like, turning green and even more green. I'm like, oh, this is my favorite. <laughs> this is how it looked when we first got here. Because actually, guys, next, well, I mean, this is the last day of April. So in like two weeks, man, we've been here three years. Can you believe that? Yeah, three years. Three years, guys. And it has gone by really, really fast. Really fast at times for me and really slow at other times. Yeah. I'll say the winter months go by a lot slower than the yeah. summer. It, it's like, it's almost like you sleep and summer and spring is over and it's getting into the fall season. And then you're hunkered down all winter long, you know? Bruce, <coughs> you yeah, Bruce is getting it. <laughs> True, yeah. We've had all the animals already this morning. Um, Melanie and Gary came over and had some, <clears throat> excuse me, had some coffee with us and hung out with us while we were feeding the animals. We showed them the little baby bunnies because... Some of those little baby bunnies in there, they're so cute. I know we shouldn't get attached, but they're like a, I don't know if we showed, I think it was yesterday we showed you guys, like they're like brown and black and oh, they look so pretty. Those baby bunnies. <laughs> now the dogs are fighting. Shroom I just, look at this mushroom I just found. Look at that. That's a pretty cool looking mushroom. I've never seen one like that before. Yeah, like this. Another one. Oh, there's another one over here too. Next to these pretty flowers. Yeah. I just broke that mushroom out there. Aww. I didn't mean to. I didn't. That's right. Yeah. Mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty here. Let me camera. I'm sure this is not an edible one, but. No, but it's cool looking. Yeah. I think mushrooms are so cool. I love mushrooms. I'm sure you guys can tell that I really enjoy mushrooms because <laughs> I got my sweater. <laughs> I got shirts. They're just cool. They are cool. There's like a little beetle hanging out in that one. Oh, yeah, it is. A mushroom beetle. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I noticed over by the house over there, there's like those white puff looking ones, little round puff balls. The marshmallow ones? Yeah. There was little, some over there? Yeah, little tiny ones. They're like this bigger. big. You yeah, can eat those. Yeah, the, but they're little ones right now. But they're yeah, growing they, over there by the house. Yeah, they get like this big and you can eat those. Yeah. I forget the exact, I, they might be called marshmallow mushrooms. I don't know. I can't um, remember what they're called. I think something puff. Yeah, they're puff mushrooms. I know that. And I, you know, it's funny. Last something year like you found some. Yeah. Decent sized ones. Yeah. And then I went on the internet and, you know, Google searched and uh, found all kinds of people that cook them and like showed like what to do with them and stuff. And then, of course, I never saw them after Anthony found that one. <laughs> Yeah, and they're like really cool on the inside. Uh, the ones that are over there, like I said, they're really tiny. But I, I grabbed one, and it's kind of like um, when you like uh, shred it up, you know? It's kind of like a feta cheese is what they look like. 
I know, yeah. We have not gone back down over, like, where those, um, what are they, May apples are at yeah. to see if there's any over there. There's probably some May growing pop? now. May no, those are May apples. Okay. May pops or the uh, passion fruits. Yeah, which we do have those too, the passion fruits. They grow in that field over there. Um, and the, uh, their flowers on there are like, to me, they look alien looking, like from another planet. They're really weird looking. They are weird. Flowers, but they're pretty. They're just very, uh, very off this planet looking. I'm looking for mushrooms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's, he's on the mushroom hunt. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I we should go back down there and see if there's any morels over there. Um, it's been a couple weeks, and we've had some really good rain, and, like, today is, like, the most mushrooms I've seen popped up out of the ground um, than I have since this whole year so far. Like I said, there's all kinds of those, like, white, poofy mushrooms over there. Here's another mushroom. Oh, yeah. They're everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like especially them. now, because it's just very humid around here. I mean, you can feel the humidity in the air. I wish I was better at, you know, um, knowing what mushrooms what. Yeah, foraging. Yeah, like, and identifying yeah. what mushrooms are which. Well, maybe in it's time. Scale, you gotta like, yeah, it, well, that's what I'm saying. In time, maybe that's something we can obviously keep working on. I will say my um, knowledge of just nature <laughs> has improved so much since we've been out here. Like... Just identifying the different types of trees, uh, different types of flowers, it, it, even mushrooms. Um, you know, there's certain ones that obviously like the poof ones, you know, that we I see and I'm like, oh, I know what that is. And just, I think it's cool. Like, this is a main reason why we I wanted to move out here was just to become with nature and learn everything nature has to offer and... Yeah, I'd learn more, right? I know what a tree is and what grass looks like. and <laughs> But as far as, like, just really identifying different things, you know? Like, all this over here, guys, this is all rag. This is where Anthony's going to have to go to get this ragweed for the yeah. chickens. Look at all this ragweed growing around here. That ain't grass. That's ragweed. Yeah, that's ragweed. <laughs> that's okay. The chickens love ragweed. The rabbits love ragweed. Yeah. And clover, obviously. Yeah. So, this is our ragweed garden. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we planted it all and i i was saying believe it or not there's actually rock underneath here yeah we put it all down yeah we put all this rock there was a bunch of rock around here we had all this rock over there where the cats are at this is all rock but the grass and you know nature just takes over <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it does it's amazing but then again like i was talking to Gary and them this morning. I'm like, man, we really haven't done much with camp in like uh, the last year or so. Two years. Yeah, it's just been kind of sitting here. But we've all been busy doing other things, so. You know. Yeah, I think she did. She planted those uh, by the well house, and then she's got some over here by her driveway. Right there. And then I planted... She's going to know where our driveway is at, because they just got to listen to Bruce. <laughs> Turn towards him. Yeah. <laughs> Follow the howls. <laughs> well, he probably hears us over here, so he's like, I know they're not far. <laughs> I know. He's all, I want to come over and explore nature with you guys that and, dog, I will and you. sniff it out. <laughs> Bruce knows how to howl or bay. Yeah, bay. Uh, make noise at the perfect wrong time. Yeah. <laughs> For us. Well, and right now, Mora. You'll be like, can you hear that? And all of a sudden, he'll he'll howl when you're trying to listen to a bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Right? Or when you're trying to talk. Like right now. And it's nonstop. Well, I'll say this. It sounds like him and Mora are fighting. Um, it's it's funny, right? They're not fighting, fighting. Like, rah, 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 barty, biting each other. Mora and Ghost, or Bruce... They yell at each other, is what they do. They do. Yeah, and it, it, it's funny because they're, like, arguing, like, you know, how people fight when you argue, you know? Get out of my house. No, you get out of my house. No, you get out of mine. That's how they fight. And it's funny to listen to them. Like, that's what they were just doing. I'm sure Mora's loafing in the doghouse and Ghost is tr or Bruce is trying to get in there. And she's yelling at him, nuh-uh. <laughs> I know. 
This is my domain, not yours. Oh yeah, look. These are pretty. Look at all that. I don't know what kind of flowers those are. I don't know. I don't know, but they're pretty. Yeah. I don't know. They don't really smell. Hmm. Don't know. They are pretty. They've been here for a while. Yeah, they've been popping purple. up. Yeah, these purple flowers have been popping up everywhere recently. I've I'm noticed. I'm still looking for mushrooms, so <laughs> see if I can find any cool ones. You're like, oh, well, there's one right there on the end of this log. Yeah, I've seen that. That's just a... Like a turkey tail or whatever? It's not a turkey tail, but yes, it's the same yeah. style, I guess, or whatever. Hi, Michonne. Me, 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 me. I don't know. That might be Sylvia. Yeah, that's Sylvia. <laughs> she did. She ventured over here. She's not very... Um, she doesn't like to leave her little domain over there. They're a little... Their little bubble, <laughs> her and Blue. But it looks like her and Blue both came over here, and Michonne. They're all over here, all the cats. Right. Yeah, they want to go exploring too. Oh, I got, I got like dirt all over my shirt. Well. Oh yes, yes, and snakes. Um, real quick story. Um, we've been seeing a lot of brown recluses around here. Yeah, we've, I've seen, you killed another one? Okay, so we've got like four that we found. Um, Wyatt found one down by the pond. It was on the chair. Um, Anthony and him went down there the other day and they went, did some fishing. <coughs> Wyatt grabbed a chair and it was there. And uh, at first Wyatt didn't know what it was, but he seen the big spider. And then Anthony went over there and was like, nope, that's a brown recluse. And then, um. Like, that day, I think, I was coming up to go inside the house, and right there on the deck, I've never seen a brown recluse in real life. And I even told Anthony, I've never seen one. So he explained to me what they look like. He's like, they look like wolf spiders, but they don't have stripes. And there, I mean, there's more yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I just so happen to be walking up the deck. I look over, and I see what I think is a brown recluse. So I run in, and I get Anthony, and I'm like, hey, is this a brown recluse? He comes over, looks at, he goes, yep. So, um, that was right on the deck. And then, uh, Wyatt went to go get another, oh, his pogo stick. Went to grab his pogo stick, and there was a brown recluse on that. He noticed it right away. And then you killed one, you said, today. Yeah, this, uh, this morning. So. Which is crazy. So, they, one must have had babies around here. Something, somewhere. because. By the house. I mean, the one by the pond is a pond, but there's three yeah, the, by the house. Yeah, the pond, I kind of understand. And I, have, I haven't seen one the entire time we've been here. Yeah, I've never seen a brown recluse. Even in Vegas, I never saw one. Um, and then now I've seen, you know, I've, well, I've seen for sure one, but well, there's been three too. of they them. Don't, they don't like to be, I mean, they're a recluse, right? They want to be by themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. not actively seeking us out, you know? No, but. Are these, is this poison oak right here? Um, no, that's what I was looking at. No, I don't think that is. Okay. I'm staying away from it. So, yeah, that's been kind of what's been happening around here. These brown recluses. You can know poison oak because the leaves look like that. Oh, that's right. They look like mittens. Yep. That's right. I was looking at it leaves of three. Yeah, leaves of three, let it be. Yeah. But I don't think... I could be wrong on this, though. They could just be small. Here, let's look. I'll show you guys. Comment below and let us know. Uh, no, no. It, it very well <laughs> could be. I just, I can't tell right now. It could be. Uh, I legit have no idea. There are some red berries growing on it. So, so I mean, it could be, yeah. I'm not sure. I don't get poison oak, so. <laughs> I don't really care. I should care. I don't. Messed up. I don't mean really care, but. Messed up. <laughs> let's see what it but yeah, I don't get poison oak. I do. Really bad. Yeah, my mom used to get it really, really bad. Um, I mean, I'm sure she still does, but I remember that as a kid with my mom with poison oak. And then I've never had it, so it's weird how that all works out. It's like my mom, she's allergic to bees too, and I'm not allergic to bees. I'm not allergic to bees. I don't get poison oak. But my mom... So sumac? It's aromatic sumac. Aromatic. I think it's poison sumac. There's a difference. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. According to plant. Yeah, my app that I've been using for three years. Yeah. But, but that could be wrong too. That's interesting. Okay. Huh. 
Well, guys, I guess we should get busy. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. See don't, the mitten? Don't I'm not touch touching it. it, but see the mitten? Yeah, yeah I see it. That's poison oak. Hmm. Keep that away from I'm like, don't touch it. I'm not going to touch it. Jana beat it. Yeah, don't touch it, Jana. That's another way some people get poison oak is their dogs oh, yeah. rolling around in it and then coming and rubbing up on you. Yep. I've known that to happen. Yeah, there's lots of poison oak around here. Well, like that poison oak. yeah, this area has been kind of abandoned, oak. you know? I'm itching just being here. Well. <laughs> That's poison oak. Yes, well, we'll get out of the poison oak infested environment. Um, we're going to get to work now. Um, try to get some stuff done before the heat really sets in today. Yeah, it, if it's out, it's ivy, um, we were pretty pretty miserable yesterday. You know, it seems like we're never satisfied. I just want a perfect 70 degrees every day and very low humidity. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> um, yeah, do your thing. He wants to really identify what that is because I see a lot of it around here. And I'm actually surprised there's not as much poison oak as, like, I remember as a kid and stuff running through the woods in uh, Oregon and poison oak was everywhere, everywhere you would look. Now here, you gotta kind of really search for it to find it. But that's probably because it's just around here. I'm sure in the woods over there, if you like off the, off the trails. I'm sure there's poison oak everywhere out there. But like I said, I don't really pay much attention because I don't get poison oak. So. Anyway, I gotta go get Bruce to be quiet. Yes, so like I said, I've been trying to get off. I just. Well, stay safe, guys. Thanks for being here today. Yes, thank you. We got you. more work to do today to get some of the stuff finished that we've been working on. So. Yeah. We're gonna get on it before it gets too, too hot. Yep, yep, yep. And you guys will see what we're doing tomorrow. Yeah, stay safe, guys. Stay motivated. Catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.